is Backyard Gardening. As promised in an earlier video, I will be sharing some tips on how you can deal with those pesky bugs in your garden. One of the most vexing problem faced by many first time gardeners is to wake up in the morning and after you've planted and watered your garden the night before, and you get up and you find that the plant that was doing so well is no longer there. It's been eaten and you don't even know who or what ate it. Or you look on the other side and you see some ants on the side and, and, and they took over your plant that was also doing well and you don't know what to do. You challenged, you, you know, you, you, you was looking out for these things. These things are precious to you. Spent plenty time on it, hoping that it would grow well. Well, we'll be dealing with this. We'll be dealing with slugs and snails and aphids and ants and cutworms and a whole lot of insects and diseases. And really will not show you how you can make your own insecticidal mix. Here are some tips on how to get rid of snails and slugs. Eggshells. Crushed eggshells are not only nutritious to plants, but they help ward off slugs and snails. Eggshells may be mixed in the soil or place around the plant. Pour beer in pans and place them near your vegetables. Snails and slugs will be attracted to it and drink themselves to death. Or slice cucumber place in pans near plants will help repel snails and slugs. Copper pennies can keep away snails and slugs by placing copper pennies around your plant. I hope you save some of your pennies. Here is another tip for snails and slugs. Instead of throwing away your lemon rind, grapefruit rind, or your orange rind, Place them in a pie pan near your plants, preferably overnight, and snails and slugs will attach to the rind. All you have to do is discard them. Here are some tips on how to deal with the ants. Just sprinkle some cinnamon on a spot that's popular with the ants. The powdery substance can cause the ants to choke when they breathe it in. Plus, the smell makes it impossible for them to smell any food. And the nice thing about cinnamon, it isn't harmful to children or animals. This cinnamon powder also protects seedlings against diseases. It also keeps mosquitoes out of your garden. Here's another way you can keep away the soft-bodied insects. This is one of my favorite solutions and it's, it's a homemade insecticidal soap. Now, many of you probably used the soapy liquid thing before and um, some of you told me that it isn't working for you. Well, why don't you try this particular recipe? Use five tablespoons of soap to one gallon of water. Now you may use Liquid Dawn, ivory dishwashing liquid, because we want to use something that is non-deodorant and something that is light, something that will not harm your plants. Baby shampoo is also used. 
And this next uh, recipe is to add to the soapy mixture instead of just using the soapy water alone. Create a potent mixture by pouring hot water over six cloves of garlic or one whole small onion chopped. Place in a glass jar and leave overnight. Strain the substance before adding to soapy water. This should do a good job in getting rid of soft-bodied insects like aphids, mites, leaf hoppers, spiders, white flies, mealy bugs, and immature scales. This should also assist in destroying all the eggs, including moths, beetles, and very soft larvae. This mixture will not harm the good pest, as such as caterpillar, maggots, and other pests that are beneficial to your environment. If you prefer not to prepare your own organic insecticidal spray, check your local nursery or garden center. There are a variety of organic sprays on the market from which you can choose. Remember to always test the insecticidal mix by first spraying on a small area of plant before spraying your whole garden. Some plants may be more sensitive than others. If you want to use some chemical insecticide or pesticides, the following are some chemical insecticide and pesticides that I recommend. You can use snail and slug bait, which is effective in killing snails and slugs instantly. But what you want to do, you don't want to put them on the plant. You want to put them in an area wherever slugs or snails are seen. You just want to plate, place the snail bait in that area away from your plants. When it comes to ants, you can also use fire ant bait. This is effective in killing ants by dusting on the ant nest or in the area where ants are seen. Seven dust powder is used to kill a variety of bugs, including aphids and cutworms. Just sprinkle the powder on your plants. Beware of the danger of your good bugs when using chemical pesticides. This is why I highly recommend using the natural insecticidal spray or the natural remedy for my garden. If this video was of some assistance to you, please like and subscribe. To get your copy of Backyard Gardening in the Bahamas and the Caribbean, check out Book World, Mackey Street, on top of the hill. Or Dungalik Art Studios on Village Road. Or Logos Bookstore in Harbor Bay. You may also check online at Amazon.com for a copy of backyard gardening in the Bahamas and the Caribbean. Plant now so you may reap later. Bye. Until next time on Cynthia's Backyard Gardening.